That was Ken Collier and his jazz men from an EP that I bought when I was 14 years old. John Walters, who produced this programme for more than 20 years and who died the night before last, bought the same EP. Will be the case, anyway. And uh, my thanks to all of the people who sent emails uh, about John Walters. I shall pass these all on to Helen, his wife. And uh, for those people who said that uh, perhaps I should have not done tonight's programme, I think he would have thought uh, it was a bit weedy of me not to do it. So this is uh, this is Panoptica, anyway, on Certificate 18 Records. <laughs> From Cloud Nine. Once again, thanks to all of the people who sent in emails uh, about the death of John Walters. They're all very, very much appreciated. And uh, to John Osborne, we'll pass, a mes- pass your message on to Ben and Tom. This is, as far as I can tell, and uh, I have to say that I always expected that John Walters, uh, despite his illness, would uh, outlive me because he was absolutely determined uh, to be at my funeral in order to deliver the eulogy, which would have been enormously long, uh, very, very funny, and I suspect uh, would have reflected a great deal of credit on him and not nearly so much on me. But uh, uh, one of the things that he was determined to do was to play, at some stage of the ceremony, Roy Harper's record, When an Old Cricketer Leaves the Crease. I'm sorry he didn't have the much longer innings you deserved, old pal. When an old cricketer leaves the crease Well, you never know whether he's gone If sometimes you catch in a, a fleeting day of a twelfth man at silly mid on And it could be me And it could be Good night to him and good night to you. Radio 1. At 12 midnight, it's Toby Seeley. The controversial head of the Nation of Islam will come to the UK. Radio 1.